stand before you, deeply honored to address my opening speech in this grand general assembly as a representative of the USA delegation. Our single and the only aim as an international community is to bring back and restore the peace and freedom in our fellow country, Myanmar. As for the next few hours, I have no doubt in my mind that only our compromises and negotiations will be able to bring a successful resolution that will guide us to reach our ultimate goal. Although at this present moment, it looks as if it's impossible to bring back the peace and freedom in Myanmar. However, may I conclude by saying that it always seems impossible until something gets done. And therefore, I believe that we can do our best and strive our best for impossibility until we get it done. Thank you. Secretary General, Mr. President, Honorable Chairs, Honorable Delegates. My colleague and I represent the delegation of Republic of Cote d'Ivoire from West Africa, and it gives us a great pleasure to be here with all of you today. We have come together to discuss the civil rights abuse in Myanmar. The tendency of the Buddhist monk is admirable, and we are all aware of the necessity of change in Myanmar. We strive to aid the current East Asian situation financially or by the use of sanctions. As a democratic nation, we condemn the unnecessary violence currently occurring, which has taken the lives of many demonstrators, and we believe that, with our wealthy economy and broadened minds, we can, alongside others, prevent the ongoing corruption in Myanmar. Thank you. Okay, we will continue with the speaker group. Uh, any contribution to be added to the speaker group may do so by sending it out to the Myanmar has been working with other AFDA and countries to achieve its common goal of democratization in the city. And we are pleased to be able to present any possible solutions that we might find. Indonesia emphasizes the need to solve conflicts in Myanmar with peaceful discussion, abstaining from using force and violence, and this will only create hate and opposition. I think that as a member of the ASDAN, which Myanmar is also a part of, we must keep up all international relations with Myanmar as possible. If we stop all these international relations, we are helping this country. This country would like to be isolated. I'm sure there are many among you who think the same as I do. If we let this country isolate itself, it means that it will close its borders to whoever wants to come in and out. We insist the military stop using unnecessary, violent force on innocent and peaceful protesters and civilians. In addition, we believe that the unjust arrest of innocent people must be stopped and those already detained freed. This type of human rights abuse is absolutely, in our opinion, unacceptable. I yield the floor to the chair. Thank you. Thank you. Secretary General, Mr. President, Honorable Chair, Distinguished Delegates. The Kingdom of Nepal salutes your leadership and wishes you success in the General Assembly, Mr. President. We want to express thanks on behalf of our government to the international community for helping us in our struggle for democracy and in the current peace process. Dear Delegates, respect for human rights. It is the foundation of law and peace it's our greatest aspiration. And yet, as we speak, the situation in Myanmar calls for action with the international community. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I represent the Republic of Cameroon, country of Western Africa. It is a great honor to be part of the international organization of this event. Year 2007 is not only a year of rebellion in Myanmar, but also it is the last year of house arrest detention of Aung San Suu Kyi. It's absolutely clear that riot in Myanmar is alarming. <laughs>